is Sonia. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this gorgeous chicken pot pie. I love it in the fall, in the winter. It's warm. It's just so good. It warms your soul. It is really, really easy to make and yet it's really impressive to serve at your dining room table. So let me show you how to make this fun dish. you're going to do is preheat your oven to 375. You're going to start out by placing your pot on medium high heat. We're going to add in two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of your favorite oil. You could use canola, vegetable, olive oil, any of those would actually work for this recipe. Then you're going to get your butter to the point of melted and then at that point we're going to add in three cups of diced red potatoes, two cups of diced onions, and then we're gonna add in two cups of mushrooms. For some reason you don't like one of those these vegetables, you could just omit it, but I think that this medley tastes really good together. Then we're gonna add in one cup of celery and one cup of carrots. Then we're gonna cook this for about five minutes. You just wanna get it a little bit cooked and want all of everything to marry in your pot and make sure everything is lightly coated in that oil. Then we are going to add in two teaspoons of thyme. I'm using fresh thyme, but if you don't have fresh thyme, you could also use dried thyme. I like the fresh, it adds a little bit more flavor, but if it's too hard for you to get, or you just you know don't wanna run back to the store because you forgot to get the fresh one, then it's fine. I think though that the fresh one tastes just slightly better, and it is two teaspoons is what I'm looking for of the thyme. Then we are going to add in about six to six and a half tablespoons of flour. After you get the flour evenly coated on all of your vegetables, we are just going to cook this for about five minutes. Then you're gonna add in half a cup of your favorite chicken broth. And then we are going to do three cups of skim milk. Yes, you heard me right. We're using skim milk in this today. We're not using heavy cream. I, I like to make my recipes just a little lighter, but I'm telling you it's definitely not lacking in flavor. And because we did coat our vegetables with the flour, that's what's gonna help thicken this up and you would never know the difference. We're gonna turn it up to medium high heat and wait until it gets all bubbly, just like this. I'm telling you, it thickens up just the same and you're not gonna miss any of those calories. Then we are going to add in some chicken. It doesn't matter where you get the chicken, if you get a rotisserie chicken, or if you wanna just cook up some chicken breast, whatever you wanna do. We are going to be doing four cups of chicken and one cup of frozen peas, and then we're gonna do a half a cup of fresh parsley. Then we are also going to do about a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. If you're watching your sodium, you wouldn't have to put in quite as much salt. And then we are just going to stir it around and get it all nice and yummy and all mixed together. At this point, you wanna give it just a little try. See if you wanna add in a little bit more salt more pepper. Some people add to like a little bit of hot sauce in it. I've seen even people put like a tablespoon of vinegar to just add a little bit of something. Or some people just like it the way it is. It's really up to you. I think I'm going to leave part of mine the way it is. And then part of mine, I think I'm going to add a little bit of hot sauce too. I know my kids would never eat that. So it's really up to you. But make sure you give it a try and see what you want to add into yours. I decided to add in a little bit of hot sauce. And this is a vinegar based hot sauce it doesn't make it super hot it's just going to make all of our flavors really pop and really taste delicious you could put this in one big like casserole dish and put the leaves on top some people even can use phyllo dough which people some people swear by but i don't like it in one big container because once one person starts scooping it out it kind of becomes a mess especially by the last person that gets their chicken pot pie. So I wanna do them in individual ramekins, but again, that's up to you. And size is also up to you, depending on how much you wanna eat in one sitting. 
So let's get all of this into it. And I'm also cutting down on our calories and not putting in a bottom, but if you really want the bottom of your chicken pot pie, then by all means, put in a bottom to your chicken pot pie. I'm just gonna put it just on the top just to save a few calories. And I feel like in the chicken pot pie, it's also when you do individual one, it's kind of hard to get out the bottom of the chicken pot pie when you're eating it. But that's just my personal opinion. You do what you like. Like I said, I decided to do them in individual ramekins and I'm only putting a top. I felt like there was plenty of pie crust for it. I didn't feel like I had so much of like the filling that it didn't like taste like it need more pie crust at the bottom. I thought these turned out really good just the way they are. But again, it's a matter of preference and what you like. You could start an egg wash by just adding an egg in a bowl with some water and then brushing on top of your leaves. But our leaves might be a little bit harder because they're kind of be like floating. Even though they're connected, they might be a little bit harder to egg wash. So I was at Dollar Tree the other day and I picked me up a spray bottle, washed it out. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill it up with just a little bit of water and then we're gonna add the egg. And then we're gonna shake it up and we're gonna actually spritz it on the top. And I know you're thinking, do you really need egg wash? You don't necessarily, but it kind of gives it that beautiful shiny look to your chicken pot pie, okay? I also am using pre-made pie crust from good old Trader Joe's. If you wanna make your pie crust, make your own pie crust, but I'm trying to make it easy on everybody tonight. And I will show you how to make a pie crust when I show you how to make maybe an apple pie soon. So, um, but I think for this, let's, you know, there's a lot of great pie crusts out there. I'm gonna use the Trader Joe's ones. And I bought these little cutouts off of Amazon. These are kind of cool because they actually have like, a, I'm gonna show you, like a little thing you push to help release it. Because when we're doing these and we wanna release them instead of the cookie cutters, might get a little stuck and it's gonna be hard to put them on top. These work a little bit better. You can get them on Amazon and they're extremely affordable. Okay, let me show you how to do all this. I'm not sure I caught this little strainer. I know I got it for, I think, when I was canning something or making a sauce. I don't know. I found it in my drawer, and it worked out perfectly to go ahead and put my egg in and let, let it just get into it. If you didn't have it, you could also try to make like a little cone out of paper or whatever you want to try to get your egg into the spray bottle. Then you really need to shake it up. I mean, really shake it up. Now I'm gonna show you how I did this. So these little cutters are awesome. The thing about them is, is number one, you gotta push down and then you gotta push the little thing so it kind of makes an imprint and then it also picks it up and then you can place it down on your chicken pot pie. You could also buy these, I know a lot of people use them as a crust for the regular pies or just to put decorations. So you can see like one over two of them, I didn't push all the way down, this was a, first one I made to make sure that the decoration of the leaf actually shows up. I thought this was a really fun way to make a different kind of pie crust. And I know on Amazon they had more than just leaves. They had all kinds of decorations and all kinds of seasonal cutouts that I thought was really fun. I think it would also be great on any kind of pie. So here it is, here's one of mine. As you can see, I'm spraying it. I couldn't get it all at the same time, so I'm gonna show you. You might not wanna do it on your counters, wherever you wanna do it. You could also do it like on your cooking tray or whatever. You wanna make sure it's even. And I would say make sure it's on like the misting, maybe try it in your sink. Then you're gonna place it into your oven for 375 for about 30 minutes or until they turn golden and they become bubbly. These are amazing. Well, I hope you guys give this chicken pot pie a try. Make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up, share it out with your friends, and I will see you again soon. I love you guys. Bye-bye.